Hello, this is the third episode and the last one. In the previous episode we've added a file output, but here we require user to close uh, the to call this function uh, which closes uh, the file. In this episode I'm gonna refactor the logger class a bit so that uh, the user will not be required to call this function. In fact, this function will no longer exist. To do that, I'm gonna make the logger class be a singleton. There's gonna be only one instance of a class. Uh, the class will not change much, but we will be able to have constructor and uh, a destructor. And uh, particularly, we're interested in a destructor, because in the destructor we can uh, call, we can uh, close the file. So first off, I'm gonna grab these. Uh, we're not gonna have any static web members anymore. They're all gonna be just a regular uh, fields. So the API functions are gonna stay the same. We won't need close file output anymore. And so first off, there can only be one instance of a singleton. So we're gonna under private, we're gonna make a constructor logger so that nobody can create an instance for this class outside of the class. And we're also gonna make a copy constructor and assignment operator private as well. Although we're not gonna expose get instance function of the singleton, so it's not gonna be uh, public. So uh, we could do without those, but just for formality, let's put it here. And what we're interested in is a destructor in which we will free uh, file which closes the file. Okay, now as you can see there are a lot of errors. Uh, it's because we use in static functions, non-static fields in static uh, functions. So we need to create a get instance function with which we can access uh, an actual singleton instance. Uh, get uh, I'm gonna create a static logger. Basically, static inside of a function means that it's a global variable, but it can only be accessed inside of this function. That's basically what this means. So there's only gonna be one instance of logger. And here we kind of initialize it, but it's static, so it will only be initialized once. And when the program closes, uh, the destructor will be called. Uh, which freeze file. So now we don't need this function. It will be done automatically. And that's basically the point of creating uh, a singleton in this case. So now get instance. Oh. It's gonna be static as well. So doesn't need to be static because they're private so they are kind of implementation uh, functions
functions. Also get instance. So yeah, basically I've decided to use singleton because uh, we can have a destructor which calls this. Actually, let's debug this. So we run this program and by the end of the program the destructor is called. Let's actually do this like so. So here we print everything out, we go to the end of the program and here destructor is called free file and we close the file yeah so and the program exits uh, thanks for watching that's it uh, you can check out the code for all the episodes in the github repository there is a link in the description and i'm also gonna do some more tweaking and refactoring and put there a folder and the probably name include uh, which is gonna contain um, this logger a bit more refactored so you can actually use it if you want uh, yeah thanks bye